shit up on my way from mine Creep up on your bitch, that ass is mine Ain't no time for explanations and no time to pray There ain't no motherfucking mercy Going over the final pages of the Dead Body Group comic book, which will be available soon. All the down ass ninjas. As you can see, we got the artwork done by Graves AD. The uh, cover will be coming soon. I just gotta put some time into that and get up on it. But I guess this um, little time we have right now is. Uh, just to address some of the issues that are going on backstage why you haven't seen Graves for a while and pretty much we're just shooting the shit right now on what's going on what we with feel body crew should be going on with SAW as well see the first thing is first sick boy I approached you at school and I had an idea to have a match of Jeff Thurlacious defend the inner city title against Revita. You know, and that would be, you know, a little bonus for people that show up to watch the pay-per-view. You told me no, and so it's because Jeff has a heavyweight title match. Well, me and Robbie, Master Mayhem, are also in that heavyweight title match, and we also have a tag team title match earlier in the night. And you said you don't want to put too much stress on Jeff by giving him two matches when me and Robbie are pulling double shifts and at Guilty as Charged Killer had four matches and you pretty much just like did a big fuck you to my face. That's pretty much what it was. And I find out today through some sources that you wanted to have Jeff Thurlacious unleash on me and pretty much put a hit on me. And I'm not too down with that. So, uh, after the uh, whole season is done, when the new season starts... We have a proposition for you, pretty much. What we want to do is I will be making my return after the off season. I'm going to be ten times better than I was. I'm going to work a lot harder than I was. And you're going to see a side of me that you haven't seen before. Because a lot of you guys are actually truly pissing me off. That's one of the reasons I haven't shown up. Because, sick boy, you're taking your power way too fucking far. Way too far. I mean, all right, the way I see it, we were explicit back, you know, when I first hit Spokane. You know, not heads, right hand, right hand man, tragedies, right hand man, forming a group together. You know what you did? You blew it the fuck off. You pretty much just fucking didn't do shit. You didn't work for it. You didn't do shit for it. I was the only one pumping out music for that. So that just shows me that you can't fucking do any good music at all. You pretty much find it some escape through SAW to where you want to have to wrestle. That says that you're not a good wrestler at all. Fucking the only thing you can really do is fucking... Uh, pretty much fucking hold Jeff's nuts so he won't get hurt and fucking be Knothead's backup. And, you know, fucking, I love Knothead to the fullest. And he has Mad and Max I as gotta, a backup. And I gotta say, Jeff, this is not all drive towards you. It's just, yeah, Sick we, Boy's been hugging your nuts, homie, and uh, you need to do something because pretty much what he's doing is he's protecting you, and that's something you don't need. Yeah. What Sick Boy needs to do is man up and take on this challenge of Mean Graves have for him. Because if you were, if Sick Boy was riding your dick any harder, Jeff, he'd be your nutsack. And that's a line from Rudy Ray Moore. And you know what? It just fits for you right now. Because it really does. But I mean, so this vendetta that we have, it's not directed towards you, it's directed towards Sick Boy. And I want you to look me right in the eyes right now as I say this because this is a direct challenge for you I challenge you to get back with Jeff for one night just one the first you know event that we have after the offseason whether it be a regular Saturday Night Massacre or a paper rave 
You know, whichever one. It doesn't matter. It's an I quit match. Either DBC wins, and this is OG DBC, or Too Sick Too Extreme wins. See, here's the thing, sick boy. If you lose, you lose your position of director as authority. But if we lose, we'll say goodbye to SAW and you will never hear or see from us again. And that's pretty much, so we want you to put your position on the line versus our contracts. That's and it. if you win, maybe you'll find we'll respect the heart. that and we'll leave. But if you're going to pull this shit, I don't wrestle anymore, blah, 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 bullshit. You know, it's one thing that, you know, put authority in SAW, which I understand that you've been trying to do, but it's another thing to take it to a personal level and pretty much put a vendetta out for my, basically my brother. And, you know, that got me a lot. And you have no right to do that. Whether you have power in SAW, whether you have power in the real world, I could give a fuck less. You have no right to put a threat out on another motherfucker. Where SAW was built on friendship. It was built on fucking being able to take your aggression out on one another. In fact, backyard wrestling itself was built on being able to take out your aggression from the day and, you know, still be able to get up, shake a motherfucker's hands, and be homies with them afterwards. You're turning this into the exact opposite of that. You're turning this into some WWE bullshit where you're going to take personal vendettas out on fucking everybody. And I'm fucking fed up with it. I really am. That's the reason I haven't shown up. Because I don't want to fucking deal with your stupid ass. You know what I mean? And you attacked Mad Max for no fucking reason. And because the whole fucking, you guys had a different plan than we did. You came out and you caned us and you swung for the fences pretty much. And yeah, you upset me in Nightmare, but you had the audacity to call me a little bitch for, you know, wanting an apology for a miscommunication that you should have went to Madman through before you even made a little uh, idea of yours, before you made a little plan. Because we had a plan too. And uh, if your plan crossed ours, I'm sorry, but ours was there first. And the whole thing with uh, you wanting to put a vendetta out against me and all this shit where you're coming after me. Where, where's the fucking juggalo love that you supposedly always have? Where's this down-ass ninja sick boy that we used to know? Because lately I haven't seen him. I've seen this stuck-up, anal-ass, Eric Bischoff wannabe thinking that he can run the show, thinking he knows what's best for SAW. See, SAW pretty much should be where the inmates run the asylum. And just because you think you're warden now, thinks you can you think you can control us, this is backyard wrestling. Think about it. I mean, you don't have the power to kick anybody out of SAW. There's only one person that can do that. And it sure as hell ain't you. And it's fucked up because, I mean, you say that every company needs a fucking Triple H. Fuck that. SAW is an original company. Original. We, we, don't, not, we don't try to bogart people shit. Yeah, we fucking took their audio for the don't try this at home, but we needed that because there's a lot of dumbass kids out there who will, you know, Look at us. Look at the Federation. We're those dumbass kids that fucking saw it and was like, ooh, I want to fucking try. But at least we fucking train for it and we fucking practice. And, you know, that's why we needed to do that. Yeah, we've stolen a couple other things from the big corporation, which I'm not going to fucking go through the list. But c fucking stealing people itself. Stealing the fucking authority and fucking attitudes of people itself. Um, you keep on talking. I'm going to answer this phone real quick. See, the thing is, first of all, to address the kids yep. doing all this shit, if Don't you're going to hurt somebody, out. hurt yourself.
Don't Justin's hurt anybody. Else. <laughs> now, sick boy, you trying to make a Triple As H? Justin Listen, Bobo, Jeff doesn't good. need to be changed. Jeff was fine how he was. He's a good wrestler. He needs to touch up a few areas, but that's beside the point. Okay. And I'm sure management will talk to him, but by management, I don't mean you. Because the way I look oh, at it, you won't be management for that much longer. Let me put it to you like this, simple and blunt. Sick boy. You just change this whole thing. You try to say that I bring the drama into SAW. What drama did I? I just wanted to see a match between Ravita and Jeff Thurlis just for the inner city title. And you called me a little bitch for it? I'm not the one trying to get the title for me. I'm not trying to see okay. anything. I just wanted to see a good match that could be, who knows, that could be match of the year type status. Sorry about that, But you're canceling it. And now you're just trying to put the blame on me bringing drama when you're the one that put a hit on me. And that's not drama. That's bringing personal that's life to up, fucking dude. S.A. Dove. And that's fucking bullshit. And what's worse is you're trying to make someone who I have no problem with. I don't have a single problem with Jeff. And you're trying to make him attack me. Trying to unleash on me. Well, sick boy. If you want something unleashed, you just wait for the next season. That is, you know, if you're not too fucking scared to take our fucking challenge. If you're scared, we'll fully understand. That'll just prove every little thing that everybody has ever said about you right. You know, even a lot of your homies fucking hate you. Yeah, you may think that you're, they're your fucking friends, but you don't know what the fuck they say about you behind your fucking back because, you know, the only reason they don't say it to your face is because they don't want to fucking hurt you and make you go fucking unstable and shit. It's getting to the point where I really could give a fuck less, you know. Fucking, as soon as, you know, we find out if you're going to accept this challenge, the very second that we figure this out, then we'll see what kind of man you are. But till then, you ain't nothing but a fucking bitch, because I'm pretty sure that you're not going to fucking take this challenge. I'm taking it very seriously. I love SAW to the fullest. You know, it's fucking, in Portland, it's attempted murder. Here, it's not. That's the shit. I can get away with whooping my homeboy's ass and not going to jail. What better fucking, you know, how better could it get? It can't at all. You think I want to lose SAW? Fuck no. But I'm fucking putting it on the line just to make sure that SAW gets back to what it should be. You know? Madman running the shit and that's it. You know? Yeah, we still have fucking other dude, you know, running it on the sidelines Chris. or whatever. Chris. You know, he's doing a good job so far. And he's he not going taking power SAW hungry. up to the top like he should be. Yeah. But, see, the thing, the he's difference between job. him and you, sick boy, is you're power hungry. You may not see it, but you are. You know, Burbs, I'm sorry, but, you know, I'm sorry to say this, but sick boy, you're ending up just like him. Just how he was power hungry when he had that little bit of power. That's why we had to put a stop to it. And you know what? We did. You, I'm sure everybody remembers that day of Burbs flipping out in the parking lot and shit and fucking just going nuts over that shit, but we were right. See, the thing is, nobody ever sees how power hungry they are until a mirror is held up in front of them. And sick boy, this is pretty much what we're doing to you. We want to show you the kind of shit you're putting SAW through. See, and you're not just putting us through shit, you're throwing shit at us and dragging our name through the dirt. And actually, I want to throw one more little thing for this challenge of ours. I want to give you one more, like, one other alternate option because, you know, I, I think it's fair. If you decide to quit your authority and come back to wrestling and be a wrestler and admit to everybody that you're a power-hungry little fucking bitch and that, you know, that you're pretty much fucking worthless... And you admit it to everybody, on camera, fucking in front of everybody there. Our challenge? Void, because then we'll know that you fucking did the right thing. That's all that matters here, is that you do the right thing. Whether it be you try to attempt to stop the DBC, which 
several times. You've tried several times and it hasn't happened and yet. Can I just make one thing clear? I know how you had your little shoot promo. And you said that me and Graves expected you guys to hand the titles over. No. Let me tell you exactly the conversation that went down. See, we were having a conversation at my birthday party where we were getting drunk and fucked up and just having a good time for once. And you said that since we're in a tag team title match against each other, if we win, you will hand the belts up to us and accept the passing of the titles. And that if you guys won, we would hand the belts to you and accept that you guys were the champions. That was the only belt handing in that conversation at all. And it was out of respect. Not out of fucking, you know, oh, we're just going to fucking front like we're the shit and, you know, you know, on camera whoop your ass and not really ever happen or whatever the fuck. We were saying hand the belts over as respect. You know, we win fair. You know, we fucking, we honestly, yeah, the ending to that match when we originally got the belts went down the wrong way. It did go down the wrong way. You were right on that. But we never expected you to just fucking hand us the belts like fucking, you know, and toss the match. We expected you to hand us the belt out of respect. And, there, and there's a difference between Sick Boy and Dead Body Crew. We earn what we get. See, we were never just handed tag team titles. See, if you want to talk about handing belts over, I was there when you were handed the tag team title. And I was there at the plaza when you told me. You were like, yeah, Jeff just gave me the belt, blah, 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 and you were hyped about it. I don't see how the fuck you can be hyped over just getting it handed to you. This is coming from the same man who said every champion needs to earn their belt. We earned our shit. So did Philly and Nightmare when they got their shit. They earned it. Because... Honestly, that was one of the best damn matches I have ever fucking had. Yeah, I almost fucking died or whatever from the news, but it was still the best damn fucking match I have ever had. I put my all into that fucking match. And that just proved that at that moment, at that pay-per-view, they were, in fact, better than us. And the only reason I'm saying this is because they were able to take a match which I created, the noose match. That was my brainchild. And they beat me at it. That is the only time, only time I've ever been outweighed at something I've created. A sick boy, don't worry, it won't happen again because we created something extra special for you. Come the next season, you will see the new match. You will see the new BBC. And you will feel the wrath in which you have created. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. We get to come up with the match that the I Quit match will be. So... Think long and hard before you make any decisions. Because if you don't accept and you don't fucking quit your position of power, there's going to be worse things coming to you. A lot worse. I mean, I'm not trying to put out a personal vendetta against you. But if I have to, I really will. So don't even fucking play, dog. For real. And see what also you're trying to do is you're trying to create friction once again between Dead Body Crew members. Yeah, there's some personal shit going on between me and Bobo, but we're both cool with it. And we fucking worked that all shit the drama, out. All the drama that fucking you guys had. Buried. I never cared. He never cared. He's my fucking brother. So what if he wants... Yeah, I'm not even going to mention names or anything. But it happened, and I didn't care. <laughs> so... Justin, you're a sick motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if you could see what Justin's doing right now, you'd be laughing your ass off too. But see, another <laughs> friction that you're trying to create is between me, Mayhem, and Mad Max. Because I know you're cool with Mad Max, and I'm cool with Max too. He's a part of Dead Body Crew now. And don't think because you're pulling some shit that we're going to look at him any different. See, because it's you that did it, and your actions speak louder than words. So I don't want you to tell me, I don't want you to tell me what you're going to do. I want you to show me what kind of a homie you are. Because before SAW, we were homies. While SAW was still going, we were homies. When we were facing each other, guilty as charged, we were homies. I came to you and asked you for a match that I wanted to see personally because I thought it would be a good match. 
You call me a bitch and then you put a hit on my name? Fuck that. That's a bullshit move by you. I don't care if you did it out of anger or if you're stressed out. You never, ever put a hit on family. Don't you remember FWO? Family World Order. And you burn that too, actually. You burn the See fuck See what out you're of that. doing right now, sick boys. You're burning bridges. And soon you're gonna be trapped on an island all by yourself. There's gonna be no one to save you. The only thing you can do is pull your head out of your ass right now and save yourself. And spare everybody in SA Drummy SAW all the drama. See, you got some kind of beef against me now? I don't care. Personally, I don't have anything to say about it. It's all bullshit, and you're just pulling some stupid shit. And really, it's not affecting me. But you know what? You put a hit on my name, and that affected me. And that affected me, too. Because yeah. you know what happens if I get attacked and beat down at SAW? Do you have any clue? Do you have any thought what would happen? SAW wouldn't be there anymore. Do you have any thought you would bring the destruction to SAW? Have you thought about that? Have you thought about how many fucking wrestlers you would fuck over? Because then there'd be twice as many hits on your name. So you better watch what you're saying.